welcome back to the Happy Hearts. I'm Neil and usually this is the Tightwad Dad vlog. It's a place where we try to be happy with what we've already got. But today, we, we, that's really true. I'm going to be really happy with what I've already got because I've got these. These are the Urban Ears Platan 2 headphones. They are all over the ear. I can't hear you. They're an all over ear headphone. Look, you can even twist them around. One of my most popular videos on the channel, bizarrely, is me unboxing these very headphones, the Indigo Platan 2 Urban Ears headphones, not the Bluetooth ones, they're corded, uh, they've got this wire and it detaches as well. Uh, anyway, this video it has got so many views, uh, you can see it playing now, where I actually uh, I'm doing a, an unboxing of the Platin 2 and comparing them with the Platin 1. Now I've been using these headphones every single day and I only realized the other day that I've been using these daily for two years. So I thought I'd do two things in this video. One is to show you how the Urban Ears Platin 2 headphones look after two years of daily use. And I'll give you some close-ups in a second, but also compare them with a brand new set of Platin 2s. Oh, look. See how beautiful and clean and stitched they are. And, ah, oh, I've been using these every day for two years. <laughs> but they've held up, excuse me, they've held up really well. And I just want to show you which ways they've held up and which ways they have probably deteriorated over two years. But anyway, this is what the box looks like. I actually got these new Platan 2s for my long-suffering wife to help drown out me next to her. Wow, they feel different. There's no Netflix account that can compensate for having to live with me, I don't think, but these sort of drown me out most of the time. They're slightly different in a number of ways, and I've only just noticed a few of the differences now, and I wanted to go through those with you. Uh, but let's take a look at the old Platan 2s to show you a glimpse into the future of what yours might look like if you use them every day for two years. The first thing is, let me show you under the head. That has fared really well. There's just a little bit of where the color has come away from the rubberized headband. So this has worked really well. I think basically I've got a filthy head and I should clean more often. And I think the oil from my face and my head has, has worn this over time. The, the fabric, has held up quite well as well. I think you can see. I've spilt coffee on it. <laughs> I haven't really bothered to clean it with a fabric cleaner, but in the comments on the other video, a few people were discussing best ways of cleaning these. I've not tried it, but I would use a, one of those pink sprays, one of those oxy sprays that you have for upholstery. That will probably get that up. Maybe that's another video. But they don't look too filthy, thanks to the indigo colour. Now the next uh, bit of wear and tear is on the ears. So I don't know if you can see, but these have completely unstitched themselves. So you can see the foam inside. They're still really comfortable though. But let me compare them with the new pair. You can see the stitching is pristine. That's how these used to look. The oil from my face and being scrunched up as well has meant that some of the indigo colouring has come away. Now the great thing with these ear cups, and I made another video about this, I'll give you a clip now, it's to show you how to disconnect the ear cups and replace them. Uh, I'll leave a link to that video in the description or if you click on the eye on the top of the screen. But just to show you, if you wanted to get new ones, they cost about uh, 14 pounds and, an and another 14 pounds for delivery, direct from Urban Ears. But you can really easily disconnect them and they just they just twist on really easily the last element of these lovely headphones is the cord and if you can see it's slightly frayed now that is completely my fault because they're designed to be wound up and then you can tuck the 3.5 mil jack under the cable like this and then I pull it tight and then I throw it in my bag what happens is, I don't know if you can see that, but because I haven't extended the cups, the cable clashes against the headband and bends it. And over time, two years every day, it has caused the 
cable to bend slightly and wear away. It still works really well. They still sound fantastic. What I didn't say in the unboxing review video was how they sounded, but I thought it was pretty obvious that I was replacing another pair that itself was, I think, five years old. The sound is phenomenal. These cups kind of block out everything else around you, which is why I've got them for my long-suffering wife. But the sound is really rich and really warm. It's, it's my favorite sounding headphones and they're so comfortable as well. I use them for really long, you know, walking and um, long movies. So it's uh, Samsung house being broken into. So that's the tour of the two year old Platan 2 headphones. But look at this. These are dark gray headphones just give you a comparison of the color. There are some differences between the two and I can see one immediately when I do this. The new headphones, they have some kind of magnet attachment. So where the ear cups meets the headband, Urban Ears calls this a flexible 3D hinge. There's a magnet so they snap shut like this. And then to fold them up, you just break the magnet. That. The other big difference that I've noticed, in fact, I think it's the only other difference, it's identical in all other respects, is this. This is how the Platan 2 jack has fared over two years. I'll put it over my head. There we go, oh, that's a nice focus. I don't think see, but the top of the L-shaped jack has worn away over time. Now, again, this is completely my fault because I have quite a chunky case on my phone. Although it's got an L-shaped jack, which is really helpful and has lasted much longer than the jack on the original Platan headphones, you can see the, the rubber has worn away. But look at the new Platan 2 jack. They've given a very generous amount of protection on the end there because they know that's where it's gonna be pulled out over time. So as you can see, it's got this kind of rubber shield and it's concertinaed. I don't know what this is for, this hole. I can only imagine it's so you can tidily fold it up like that. But that seems to be putting a lot of pressure on the wire. I don't think I'd bother doing that. Not that they're my headphones. Wrap the cable around and it's still clashing with the head band. So what I would advise if you get these headphones is to probably, each time you do this, push them up a bit. Oh no, that's made it worse. <laughs> Okay, push them down a bit and then you'll see that the cable clears. But the great thing with the Platan 2 is that the cable is replaceable. So this cable comes out. Don't do this if you have the Platan, the original Platan. Is it Platan or Platan? This detaches as well, so this part is completely replaceable and you could put in a cord that doesn't have the microphone built in. Also, same with the other Platan 2, there's an extra 3.5 millimeter jack. So you can daisy chain your headphones and I can listen to things with my long suffering wife if uh, <laughs> she lets me in. She's probably gonna watch this video on these headphones. But do you have any questions? Leave a comment. I'm sure there's something I've forgotten, but leave a, a question below or, or just to say hi, it'd be lovely to hear from you. Maybe someone else can help you out with any questions that you might have about this, but I'll leave a link to the original video in the description because everything, all the details are there. The last thing I wanted to do is to just check if the ear cups detach. This could go horribly wrong. <laughs> yes, there you go. I haven't broken them. They do go back on and I don't think this will show up on the camera, but it says pop me back on or order a a replacement at urbaneers.com. I hope this has helped you decide whether or not you want the Platan 2 Urbaneers headphones. I cannot recommend them more highly. And like I say, I've used mine every day for two years and before that daily for five years with the original Platan. I better put this back together. If you've reached this point of the video, it'll be fantastic if you could uh, send me a little signal to let me know someone got this far just hit the thumbs up and if you're feeling even kinder why not hit the subscribe button you never have to watch anything i watch ever again but every subscription helps me get closer to 10,000 subscribers it took me two years to get to 1,000 so i think we're looking at 2030 for smashing the uh, 10,000 barrier if you want to help me on that journey thank you and good luck with your purchase there are links to the Urban Ears Platan 2 in the description. If you buy them from there, Amazon give me a few pennies. So if you buy them from there, thank you in advance. Can you please help my daddy get 1,000 subscribers? Just click on his face. Thanks, bye. How was that?